I became a priest, you know, mainly because I was a youth leader. And I was influenced by a young boy who told me, leader Mark at that time, you know, you made a difference in my life. And I said, Mika, this is the life that I would like to, a life that I can make a difference in the lives of people, especially community. So I was always interested in young people. And I came to the Philippines when, with the start of Vatican II. So I became a missionary in the period of Vatican II. I was assigned to a Paris in, in Pasig, a very traditional Paris, wherein you saw a number of faces, same faces, but with different uniforms. So in other words, what I saw during these five years was a very limited participation of people. And then we got news from the Vatican, from the um, through the newspaper about, you know, the church as the people of God. But what I saw was the church of only a few. So after five years I had a question, is there another way to organize a parish where everybody can participate? So I started looking. I saw in the newspaper an announcement that there was going to be a gathering in Mindanao and Mindanao Sulu pastoral conference for the first time. So I said, I go. So I took a plane, I went there. Then I heard that in Cebu, Malboal, a certain Francisco Silva, a very charismatic priest, was also organizing his parish in a different way. I went there, not only once, maybe almost five times. After 10 years looking back at all, let us say, all what I have preached and all what I taught, okay, walang effect. There was almost no effect. Okay. If you ask me why, I only discovered that later on because it was my dream and not the dream of the people. I was dreaming for people and not with people. I could not work in that old system of church with these organizations, with a few people there. And I felt like I didn't have the capacity to let people dream with me or to be a facilitator in their dreams. What was the big breakthrough is that I came to know that there was an institute in South Africa, LUMCO, that was a pastoral institute put up by two Germans. I read some of their pamphlets and I was interested in this. A good thing is I decided to go, but to go with the layperson, to go with Stella. My main learning in Africa is the community itself and learning together. Even you, pastoral worker who has studied a bit no, more than people, you are co-learners. So LUMCO or the Pastoral Center in South Africa made us see these possibilities that learning happens in a community way, in a communal way. Liturgy happens in a communal way. No? So, nawala yung nakagisnan mo na one person, leading, expert, priest, no? ordained. Nawala yun, nabakla. As soon as we arrived, we started adapting, applying. Tapos, ano na, we moved ahead. You know, Napaka-creative kasi nung the, the youth community that I belong to or the one that makes a bukal now, very creative. So we started just innovating you know, a lot of things. One of the good things I did in Las Pinas maybe was to organize the youth. And to organize them in such a way that they became a community. That they had an experience of community, an experience of what a church can be and should be. It was a very exciting life for me. Po. So, right after so I was studying college, I was going back and forth to the youth group meetings. Tapos after college, I was invited to work full time for the parish. But he was a joyful person. You know, very attractive sa kanya. A person of joy. And you like to be around him. You like to be around a person who's joyful. Nung si Father, ah, dreamer. Yan ang mga impressions namin sa kanya. So, nung bago pa mag BEC, it was a life we lived and enjoyed. So when we started doing 
community organizing work, walang training, alam namin what that life was. It was a life before it was a concept or a, or a study or a discipline. So when we were still in Las Piñas, we were dreaming of a pastoral center. So when Father Mark left in 1999, din nila sa Bukal, so he invited us. We were working full-time in the parish. We went to Bukal, 2000. We started dreaming. So about what this place can be, where we want to be, etc. See, si Father Mark, what he left us with, what he will inspire us with for the rest of our lives, I think, is leadership as communal. As a leader, as a person who is a leader, he, he shines and uh, he affects people around him you know, with a positive really, energy. But more than that, he made us value community. Not just leadership of one person or leadership of some people who are called or ordained or gifted for it, but to realize that leadership belongs to all. Everyone is called for it, everyone is gifted for it. Ikalawa, He's a dreamer. Father Mark is a dreamer. And he taught us to dream. Always dream. Uh, do not uh, consider limitations first. Privilege the possibilities. Possibilities first. Huwag ka matakot. Sabi nga niya, it's a long process. Kasi ang unang concept ng mga tao na sa, uh, sa simbahan, para ito lang sa mga pare, tsaka sa nagsiserve sa parish. Yung mga iba, hindi na. Pero ngayon, unti-unti na pukaw ni Father na naging awake sila na we are the parish. No matter who you are, ano ang status mo sa buhay, you belong to the parish. Kaya parang nadama ng ako pala kahit mahirap na tao, ako ang simbahan. We have to work with others, connect with others, and let people move ahead with all their creativity and just there to support. We have to learn how to step aside and let lead people move. It's, it's Pope Francis just talking about that same thing. Okay. People will do the miracles, like the little boy on the multiplication of the bread. We just have to create this space, just like Jesus created the space with a question. And you see, this is the whole thing. To dream of this, that's what vision is all about. It's an inner image of a future state. It's not there yet, but you know how beautiful it would be if you would have a church where everybody can participate. It's a church that is listening to people. It's a, a church that is concerned with the lives of people. It, it's a church where everybody has a place and a space, especially the poor.